level and then you'll probably feel a little bit better what do you think? okay, <laughs> good of course I'm, I'm always glad to be asked to do someone's makeup you know I'm bored so did you have um, any thoughts starting to cool down and feel like fall around here like we can represent okay good well if you want to start if you kind of want to mimic the look that I'm wearing we're just going to use this oldie but goodie Morphe 350 palette as you can see she's gotten much love over the years she's quite dirty yeah a few of the shades are I don't know how I haven't hit pan on. So yeah, Morphe 350. And actually, I think they did a couple of variations of this palette, like an all shimmer one and an all matte one, which is cool. But this is just the original. Okay, so it's very dirty, but Very warm, warm tones all throughout. Some shimmers. It does have some really nice shimmer shades though. It's a very versatile palette, even though it is a lot of warm. These three here are kind of neutral to even a little cool. So you can really do a lot with this. Not just fun fall eyes.
same brush for right now but we will change to smaller brushes as we go down yeah because every color we add that's darker we don't want that completely overlapping the previous color we want them to kind of form a gradient so next we're gonna start deepening up the crease a little bit just a touch so now that I've got my brush loaded up close your eyes again for me then just a little bit lower into the crease and maybe a little bit on the lid we're gonna bluff to the side and we're going to pick up something that's a little smaller.
personally used this really pretty like champagne-y yeah it's beautiful like it reflects light so well that's what I used it's almost like a duochrome it looks champagne Whatever color um, you think would look best for you. I personally think this gold or this red would be stunning on your eyes because they're so beautiful and I think it would help them pop. But it's up to you. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to pick this up. like this. A shimmer shade is usually, um, you're gonna get the most bang for your buck if you can put it on with your finger, but, um, I don't, my hands are kinda chunky, and your lid space isn't that big, so we're gonna use this to really pack it on there.
yeah, I think this is a really natural look when you go in with like um, a pomade or even the pencil. You can very, very easily get carried away, you know. I think the brow powder is a good compromise. Yep. So neat. Now we're gonna just finish up the under eye really quickly.